Hey guys, it is Jess with Watch Kitty Shrink. Two things. Number one, have I even made a video since my last Keto Crate review? I don't think so, and I'm really sorry. If something interesting was going on, I swear I would update you all, but there's been nothing of interest to update you all on. Um, but I will try maybe to do just a life update video soon. Second, I look super ratchet, but... Y'all just gonna have to deal with that. At this point, y'all have been around me long enough to just be my people. Especially those of you who also follow me on Instagram. Because I go on Instagram looking ratchet every single day. So, um, yeah. Why do I look ratchet? It looks like I haven't brushed my hair. Maybe I haven't. But I think I have. Anyway, I look ratchet because... I'm actually cleaning and doing a bunch of stuff. My family is coming in four days, and I know I will not have time to make this video any other time, and I'm not going to put on makeup just for a video. There was a time when I would have done that. That time has passed. We are now friends. I don't have to dress up for you all anymore. Anyway, so yeah, I'm cleaning. I am, my, my nephew has a very bad um, peanut allergy, and so I'm having to hide all my peanut butter, and while I'm up here, I thought... I would review the April 2019 Keto Crate. I'm also reviewing this now because I'm hungry. And I actually want to try some of the stuff in here. So if you've never heard of Keto Crate, it is a monthly subscription box that sends you like 10 to 12 um, keto snacks to try. It's a really good idea because that way you don't have to buy a whole case of things. Um, you can just try them, see if you like them. Um, I do have a link and I do have a discount code. You can buy just one box, but if you do a subscription, use my link below and use Watch Kitty Shrink 15 and it will give you 15% off your first box. You can still use my link even if you just buy one box, but I don't think it will give you the 15% off. But you do have to use the link to be able to use the code. Now, I have already opened this on Instagram, so this is not necessarily an unboxing. And I have lost part... Oh no, here it is. Okay, that way I can show you all what this is. Um, but I am going to try some of the things on here, which I don't do on Instagram. So the first thing in here is these Crunchy Melts, that's the brand, Tangerine Meringues. And um, the serving size, it looks like this. The serving size is for um, 10 meringues. And it's just 30 calories and zero net carbs. There's 12 total carbs. All 12 of them are sugar alcohols. I don't know how 12 sugar alcohols sounds to you all, but I'm going to be 100% about this. That sounds like an entire day in the bathroom. So I'm going to try one for y'all. I did try one of these on Instagram because I didn't know what the heck a crunchy meringue was. Um, but I'll try another one for you all. The funny thing about this is... My poodle, before he passed away, he enjoyed these snacks called puff, Puppy Puff Corn. And it looked just like this. So now I feel like I'm eating a um, dog treat. But I forgot to show you all. Is that upside down? I'm out of practice, y'all. What on earth? And there's a glare there. So, I don't know. Y'all just gonna have to trust me on them stats. I'll be honest, I don't like them. My dad, straight up, loves them. He says they're very good. To me, they definitely taste too fake sweet, so I don't even know why I tried it again. Uh, no, I don't like them. But my dad likes them, and that's really good to me because I really want him eating more sugar-free stuff. Okay, let's hope we have everything in here because I'm a hot mess. I bet my hair just looked awful. Okay, we have Legendary Foods Buffalo Blue Wing Seasoned Almonds. For this whole bag is three net carbs. I'm not going to try this on camera because you all know I don't really care for buffalo flavored things. This I'm really excited about. It is the Cereal School. I've had the Cereal School before, but they have redone their formula. This is basically low carb Fruit Loops. I wonder if I can just move this just a little. If it won't glare on you all so bad. 
You can find them on Instagram. That's how I found them. Um, but for this whole bag is zero net carbs. There's one total carb and one gram of fiber, so none. I am going to try this later with some almond milk because seriously, sometimes the hardest part about keto is that nothing's ever easy. Like you can't just go grab a Pop-Tart or you can't just go grab you a bowl of cereal. So now the ones they had before, I really liked them and I loved their cinnamon one too, but I have not tried the reformulated one. Okay, here is a Coco Polo 70% um, dark chocolate coconut bar. That's pretty exciting because I love coconut. Let's see. For half of this bar is five net carbs. So that's pretty good. Usually I really, really like the Coco Polo um, bars. One time they had an elderberry version. I didn't like it, but every other time I've really liked it. You do get this in there. It's a little, um, like a little flyer about keto wine. And apparently that brand right there, which is Palo 61, is a keto friendly wine. I mean, hook a girl up. If you're going to talk about wine, give me a sample. Um, intact snacks, the spicy. I don't have to try these because I think you all have seen me try them before because I actually did a giveaway with this company. Um, I really, really like Intact Snacks. If you've ever liked Wisps or um, Moon Cheese, this is a lot better. It's the same concept, but a whole lot saltier. Sometimes I think those are so salty, they'll like lock your jaw. This is traditional Biltong Premium Cuts of Tender Beef. It's basically beef jerky. I tried a bite yesterday. I'll try another bite here on camera because it is really good. It looks like this. It's just really thin. Kind of beef jerky. I like it. It's not very flavored like the keto carne has a good flavor. This doesn't have much of one at all. I'm sorry I look so ratchet. Um, but it's good. There is a raw Rev Glow creamy peanut butter and sea salt bar. The whole bar is I hate when it don't tell me on the package how many net carbs it is because I don't like math. I can't even find the carbs on here. Okay. The entire bar is three net carbs. Um, I have no idea what the heck this is. Hemp Hearts. The brand is Humming Hemp. And it's um, Spicy Hemp Hearts. Raw Hulled Hemp Seeds. And it does not have any, um, oh, right there's the nutrition fags. So it's two net carbs for this whole package. Um, it says that you can sprinkle it on salads, blend it into your smoothies, add it onto like ice cream, or just eat it straight up. Okay, this is why you might would add it. There's 14 grams of fat in here. I will... On another day, go into the whole, you don't have to eat high fat on keto thing. But a lot of people do eat high fat on keto. And so if you're looking for something to add some fat, you might like that. I've never had a hemp heart in all of my life. Should I do it? Let's see what a freaking hemp heart is. It looks like little tiny little, it looks like seasoning actually. I know y'all are not going to be able to see that, so maybe you can see it going in my mouth. Tastes good. Super spicy. Kind of be like a spicy seasoning or something. I might would put that in my taco soup. That's pretty good. Um, this is an Italian style chompling. Um, I guess it's like a beef stick because the ingredients are beef, water, and sea salt. I guess that's like a beef stick. I don't really want to open that right now. Um, BHU Fit Salted Caramel and Pecan Bar. I don't really like these. I've had three or four different BHU Fit Bars. I don't like them, but if you like Quest Bars, you would probably like this. It's the same kind of texture. Um, and... This is a DNX Fit Bar. 
the grass-fed beef and uncured bacon jalapeno bar. Um, it's got 14 grams of protein and one carb in the bar. This is actually really interesting. I normally would definitely try this, but like I said, my family's coming in a couple of days and my uncle really, really loves spicy stuff. So I think I'm gonna let him try it. Maybe we'll even do like a cute little video um, where the whole family tries it, cause it's pretty big. We could cut it in portions because there's a few of us who really love spicy stuff. And uh, I'd like to see his reaction to that. So there you go. Um, I'm working on trying to make these faster, but I love you guys. Bye.